So today I'm going to be telling you the story of my uncle and his father. This occurred in 1994 in the province of Patani, the south of Thailand. Now, this was a conflict between Thai official government officials and the Thai police against a Malaysian Islamic terrorist group called RKK, which is similar to the ISIS that we have now. This occurred in the Malaysian Thai border, so most of the people who were affected by this war, who were victims or who were involved in this war, were either Thai or Malaysian, but they were mostly Malay. I don't think there's any Muslims in the story, it makes it that. Um, he knows that his father did all these dirty work in a local family costume. This was to disguise of any enemies or any terrorists were trying to target him. This was because if they knew you were a teacher or anyone even working there, they would immediately target you. The only way to not be targeted is to dress up as a local person to show that you are innocent. He remembers his father giving him a gun, which was to protect himself, and he still has that gun today. He said that he has to take that gun everywhere he goes because it was extremely dangerous to even walk outside your house. He also re recalls someone shooting outside his house near his neighborhood and this was pretty much the closest, one of the closest and one of the worst experiences that he has with war. He says at the time his father was a teacher to earn money and of course they couldn't afford to move. And even then, it was hard to move at that time. No one really wanted... If, they, if you were driving a car, you can drive. Or even a motorcycle, you would get targeted. So even doing the simplest things were tough. 